Have you guys ever thought about some of the dangers of camping? Well, in this week's video, I'm going to tell you about one of them. So hopefully this won't happen to you. Hey, what's up guys? It's Brandon the Hybrid Guy. And this week I am actually at home. Uh, I haven't posted a video in two weeks now, which I know I try to post content at least every two weeks at this point. Um, due to the fact that I had a little bit of a... Uh, a bad situation that happened. Um, it's something that I want to make other campers definitely aware of. Um, I don't want to say it was exactly a freak accident because I just noticed um, in a Facebook group I'm in, one of the many um, for hybrid campers specifically, somebody's dog having the same issue, or not issue, but same incident that just happened um, with my head. As you can see, uh, my hair is down and my hair is down for a reason. Um, while I was underneath my camper, uh, actually trying to create some content for this week on how to brace a, what they call like a multi-layer foam, uh, foam floor or a sandwich floor, which a lot of hybrids came with and um, they do get soft. Um, and there's an easy way to fix them essentially by bracing between the frame, which I'll get into in my next video. Um, it turns out the frame can be very sharp in some places. Um, as I was darting, as I was darting out um, or under the camper uh, way too fast, I actually split my head open um, on the frame. I have a three or four inch pretty deep gash uh, in my head. Um, I was bleeding very, very bad. Um, I went to the hospital and ended up getting four staples in the side of my head. Uh, and I got extremely lucky. I didn't get a concussion uh, or mild concussion, really. I, I didn't get knocked out or anything. And it was you no know, kind of something goofy, but these mistakes can happen. And in and the flash of an eyes, uh, thank God that my fiance was out there. Or you know, if I would have gotten actually knocked out from the impact, I, I could have bled to death underneath my camper. And it, it definitely makes you take your life not for, for granted. Um, when things like this happen. And especially since I saw it happen to somebody else's dog, I just wanted to make people aware of it. Not that there's too much you can do um, to stop it, just to be aware that, you know, the frame is sharp underneath your camper. If you're down there for any reason, or if your children are playing around your campground and they're running in and out from underneath the camper. Just so you don't have to go through what I went through. So um, I've been out of it quite a bit and been home for, for a while now, so... I'm going to post the pictures of everything that happened um, in this video. I will warn if you're squeamish, you may not want to continue on. Um, you may want to stop at this point, but I, I will show you just how bad it was and just how you know, something so stupid you don't think you know you could get that injured. And yeah, you, you really can. So I wanted to definitely post this video to make everybody aware. Um, the pictures I will post at the, probably the end of the video of um, everything that happened in the hospital. And I mean, everything's all right. I'm, you know, gonna recover okay. And they think that it's not gonna leave much, much scarring, but um, I wouldn't wanna see this happen to anybody else. So I just wanna let you guys know, you know, I'm still here. I'm still creating video for you all the time. Uh, and I still enjoy what I do in this new life that I've chosen and all about campers. So thank you guys again so much for the support. I think in, it been maybe three months now. I went from two to 81 subscribers, which, yeah, it's nothing crazy, but for my eyes, it's still impressive that that many people choose to follow me already, and it really is a blessing. And I do appreciate you guys and, and all the support that you have given me, especially in the hybrid camper group. Um, so thank you guys so much. I'm trying to get a video out next week. Um, that video will probably be on bracing the floor in hybrids and less specifically to hybrids i will have another video the week after that about resealing your camper um i touched base in it in one of my original videos a few months back but i'm going to go into detail on the product to use the correct products to use and the actual you know way to do it not just speaking about it but showing you step by step uh, because i notice a lot of people typically don't uh, prep the surface properly which ends up being the issue on why the sealant doesn't work. And then there's also the issue of using the wrong sealants. Um, 
there are different sealants for different reasons and some have to be used in certain places where others simply just will not work. So I will show you the proper products to use and the steps to take on sealing your camper because remember guys, you should be checking your seals every six months. I mean, every time I go to my camper, I do a quick walk around and, and check some of the main seals, stick my head up on the roof and just make sure that nothing happened because you know, one major leak in one of these campers and especially the older ones that are mainly made of OSB instead of plywood, you know, that you can end up costing yourself thousands of dollars or tons of time doing it yourself, replacing a floor or getting delamination in one of your sidewalls is nothing that any of us want. So I definitely want to post that video. It'll be a pretty detailed video. It'll be a pretty long video, but thank you guys again for all your support. So I just want to make everyone aware and I hope that this will shed light on someone else who maybe didn't think about it as hard as I did. So I'll see you guys next time.